Good morning. So why am I such a jerk to YouTubers? Well, firstly, I would say that it's not just YouTubers. I'll be a jerk to anybody. It's not limited to a social media platform. I have long said that it is an input-output world. When you input bullshit to me, I'm going to output bullshit to you, but it's going to be ten times. It's going to be tenfold, I guarantee it. One thing that I don't think people even consider for a second is that when somebody approaches somebody else with a piss poor attitude, then when they get a piss poor attitude back, they are deserving of that. See, I'm 51 years old. I learned a long damn time ago the best way to deal with bullies to break their damn nose. It's the best way to deal with it. They quit. They quit. Real quick. Sometimes it's the only thing. Only way you can deal with it. I am not even a little bit afraid of busting a bully in the nose. Because I learned that trick a long time ago. I won't coddle anybody. And if somebody comes at me with a bunch of horse shit, I'm going to call them out. And I will continue to call them out and continue to call them out. And con Well, why don't you let it go? Well, why did everybody else let it go? That's not on me. The only way that you stop a bully is to bust them in the face. It's the only way you stop it. So I'm going to go through just a quick mental list. I don't have anything wrote down. And I am going to call out some YouTubers. And I'm going to explain to you why I act like a jerk towards them. Because believe me, there isn't a single one of them that I call out that's innocent. If you come at me with bullshit, I'm going to come back with bullshit. And again, tenfold. So let's go down the list. Because I know Pinball Preparedness, he, he likes to get on his little kick of, oh, well, he calls out this one and that one and that one and that one and that one. Well, maybe you guys should stay, take a step back from your ego. Because half of you don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. And that's not my fault. That's on you. I never said, and I don't believe anybody's ever said, that it's a smart idea for somebody that just knows the barely tip tip of something to get in and act like they're an authority on the matter. And when, <laughs> when it comes to social media, oh my goodness. And it doesn't stop at YouTube, it's over on Facebook, it's everywhere. It's, it's our society. We live in an e egotistical, narcissistic society. I can't help that, I didn't cause that. I have worked diligently at removing myself from society because I don't want that mindset. Don't. Not even a little bit. And so maybe people are unaware of the ways that I've been treated at the stuff that people have done to me. And I'm not putting up with it. Not from anybody. So let's go down a little list, shall we? We shall. So, I mentioned pinball. Let's, let's go there. We'll start out with him. Not for any particular reason. He's not the first and he won't be the last. I didn't have any issues with pinball. None. I watched him as I watched other YouTubers. I didn't have any kind of an issue with him whatsoever. Why has he got an issue with me? From the start. You need to ask little Kenneth that. Because I don't know. I can't answer that. you got to ask him. I've said it before. 
how that went down. I'm going to say it again. All I did, because I was trying to support both Little Kenneth and Wellbots, all I did was ask him about if there's any way to deal with, like, having rigid glass panels, you know, with a, a solar generator. I was in the market. I didn't want cheap plastic portable panels because, uh, newsflash, they're junk. I wanted something that was going to last. I wanted something that I knew by my own knowledge, from my own education and common sense. Something that was going to truly be there for me when I needed it. And that is not a plastic folding solar panel. I don't know what to say. Am I supposed to, Kenneth, am I supposed to back up? and throw away every bit of fucking knowledge that I took the time to learn just to appease your ego? I don't think so, homie. See, I noticed how when I tag you in the community post anymore, you don't respond at all. Just like I told you in the one post, I asked you, how did it feel? to get into a pissing contest with somebody that uses a fire hose. Not good, is it? Not good. Maybe, just maybe, you shouldn't have called me stupid on a live stream for wanting rigid glass panels with a solar generator. Just maybe. I'm telling you folks, not a single one of these people I've came out against is innocent. What they won't tell you is how they acted towards me. Angry prepper. From the get-go. And he treats a lot of people that way. He treats people like they're just stupid pieces of trash. All the time. All the time. I want to know, angry prepper, what makes you so special? I can't figure it out. Not even a little bit. You clearly aren't very good at even articulating yourself. That's why you have to cuss everything. That's why you have these non-complete sentences in, in your show descriptions all the time. That's fine. I would have never... I would have never called you out for that stuff had you not indicated that I was stupid. When I was in grade school, I had a college level reading. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I cannot emphasize enough that when you start out treating somebody like crap, you are not the victim when they turn it around on you. Not even a little bit. My dad, and I'm sure many other people's dads as well, I would hope so, warned me, one day, son, one day you're going to run across that person. And I listened to my dad with that. And so that's why you don't see me going out and offensively treating people like shit, meaning being the one to start treating them like... I'm not that way. I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be an ass. But I got no problem being one. I want to get along with people. But I'm not going to sit there and let somebody belittle me and then demand respect. Fuck that. I'm not going to play games with anybody. So, again, there's a whole list. They're independent. He's so smart, he can just ignore anybody. Right? Well, let me say this. I don't like people that use the Father's name in vain. 
in other words, use the father for personal gain. Can't stand that. That is one of my biggest things that it get under my skin. I don't like people that lie. <gasps> yeah. Ask Bear about his sister's marijuana addiction. That should have told a whole lot of people a whole lot of stuff. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't understand why people would make up stuff like that. I, I, I don't get it. But I'm telling you right now, anybody comes and tells you that they had an, a horrible addiction to marijuana is full of shit. Because it doesn't work like that. Sure. If you smoke weed all the time and you don't have it or whatever, you might be a little more cranky or something like that. But you're not going to have sweats. You're not going to have convulsions. Your life's not going to be in danger. If there's any addiction, it's, it's, it's put on because you tell yourself that you can't go without it. That's as far as a marijuana addiction can possibly go. So why, Bear, would you lie? The problem with Bear, though, the problem with Bear, though, my personal beef, he put out a video one time on Patreon calling out guys that are behind on their child support as scumbags. Hmm. He probably has no earthly idea at how many of his own viewers he called out when he said that. He clearly has no earthly idea of how the family court systems are and how men are getting raked over the coals, how men are having so much money ripped out of their paychecks that they can't afford to live themselves. They can't go on and have a life for themselves because they go to work to go pay somebody that had the skills to walk into a courtroom and take advantage of an unfair court system. And that makes them a scumbag, I guess. Maybe folks just need to think a little bit before they open their mouths. Maybe folks shouldn't get an idea in their head at what somebody's about for whatever. I don't know. I don't know why anybody on this earth would think that I'm stupid. But I've spent a lifetime of people that think I'm stupid. And then when I prove them wrong, they do everything they can to sabotage me, do everything they can to get in my way. Maybe you shouldn't have fucked with me. Because the guy that your dad warned you about is sitting in this chair. And yeah, I'm not saying I'm the big bad guy on the block. Not, absolutely not. But I do know where I am. I do know what I represent. I do know what I know. I'm not blowing smoke up people's ass when I say that I quit watching TV in 2006 because I didn't want to be, to be subject to that brainwashing that was going on. I saw it happening. I saw it when it happened. Human behavioral psychology is a, a very big passion of mine. And there was a show, a game, like a game show that came out around that period of time, around 2006, called The Mole. Anderson Cooper was the host of the game show. Around that same time, Roseanne was really getting popular. And I looked at those two things, and for one, Oh, and let's not forget the whole mess on MTV, like Big Brother and all that stuff, right? So, 
I saw these reality TV shows rolling out and saw them for what they were. The, the intent behind the psychology of those shows was to turn people into narcissists. To convince people that their every little thought, their every little opinion was so important that not only did they have the right to that opinion, but they had the right to force that opinion on others. And that is not true. It is unbelievable how society has changed from that time until now. I did not want that. So I took it upon myself to remove myself, to be set apart. Not to allow that trash in my mind. Maybe that's why, one of the reasons why I'm a little different. I approach things a little different. Because I caught that stuff when it started. And removed it from my life. You know, the whole real ID thing is starting to rear its ugly head right now. That's why I hadn't gotten an ID in over a decade. Because I saw it when it happened. And recognized it for what it was. And removed myself. Because sometimes that's the only thing you can do is to remove yourself from it. I can't just remove myself from YouTube because the Father sent me to be here. And while I feel like I've wholly failed my objective up to this point, I still keep trying because he is yet to tell me to stand down and until he tells me to stand down I'm going to keep trying but I would venture to bet that anybody that if they're out walking on the sidewalk and somebody just walks up to him and pops him in the face. I am willing to bet that, well, and this, of course, depends on the person. But you're taking a good chance of getting popped back. Some of the content creators on YouTube that I call, I call it because they're bullshit. I called out Canadian Prepper. I, do I really need to explain that? I mean, it's, it's the TV show, the movie psychologist Prepper. He relates everything to TV shows and movies. I mean, that's mind-blowingly stupid. I can't help the truth. It is stupid. And there's others that I've called out over the course of time because I think what they're doing is bullshit. They will completely go out of their own lanes and talk about other things that they know little to nothing about. And any time that anybody tries to approach them with a little bit of information, all of a sudden, oh, no, you stupid, da, da, and that's where angry, angry Prepper comes in big time. You would think that we were all in this together. You would think that the most important thing would be the best ideas. Now, everybody talks about having their group, their mag, their tribe. You know, the most important thing about leadership in a group, a mag, a tribe, 
It's having the ability to not only recognize, but follow through when it comes to putting the best person for the best job. Now, if you're somebody that just does a quick reading here or there on, on the internet, you're not an expert on the matter. If you've got experience working with it, then you're a bit closer, I would say. And I'm not going to call this, I'm not calling this guy out. I mean, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a big fan of his because it, it, I, I don't like this whole appearance of bullshit mindset that, that people have. But Magic Prepper, right, recently did a video talking about heat solutions. And I went in, uh, you could look in the community tab, and I wasn't a dick or anything like that towards him. At all. Not even a little bit. But he had gone over, you know, a few different types of heating systems. And was talking about which one was the most efficient. Yada, yada. And I don't think he did a bad job. I think he did pretty good. But I tagged him in a community post and introduced him, if you will to the world of these diesel heaters. But you see it gets ignored. The craziest thing is, is I have been searching for solutions to these issues for decades. And I continue to search. And I continue to find try to find people that are more knowledgeable about it than me. Why? Because if I want to learn how to play golf, I'm not going to go to a baseball player. That's stupid. My entire life, I have sought out intellectual people in different fields because I want to learn from them. And I Oddly, I'm expected to not stand behind that. I'm not expected to stand behind the work I've done to educate myself in different fields. All because somebody's got to look cooler? That's like asinine to the ninth, or to the nth, whatever. It's crazy. It is crazy to think that somebody is supposed to dumb themselves down because somebody else is worried about their thunder. All the while, the most important people, which are the viewers, are getting misled they're getting told misinformation. They're, and when I say misled, that covers a full gambit. But, you know, it's kind of interesting. When I made that community post, nothing. So I'm going to ask, I, I got to ask. All these YouTube channels. How am I so stupid? Please let me know how I'm so stupid. Maybe you should approach people with some common sense and some decency. Shut the mouth for just a moment, open the ears, and learn. Because the reason I know the things I know is because I've already done that. And I continue to do it. If I want to learn about something, I will seek out somebody that is very proficient in it. And I will begin the process of learning. And I will get hands-on experience with it. So I can have a better understanding. 
so I can gain wisdom. Because in the, in the end, it's just like when your teachers told you that cheating on a test was only cheating yourself. It's the same thing. And SHTF, if you will, will be that big test. And it doesn't matter who or how much you bullshit people. When it's time to take that test, you're going to get graded on the reality of it, not the put on of it. I want people to be prepared for that. I don't want people to succumb to false ideologies, misinformation. You know, um, I, I want to call them BC Truck, BC Knives, um, BC Truck, BC Knives. <laughs> you know, he, he makes a very good point when it comes to the, you know, these channels and the solar generator stuff and how so many uh, individuals are making them seem uh, more effective than they are. And he's right. He is right. In order to have, you know, a lot of people think they can go out and buy, say, a thousand dollar model of a solar generator and they're under the impression they're going to power their home with it, or they're going to do this, or they... No, you're not. Not even, not even close. But these channels, for the most part, won't be completely up, up front about this stuff. The only channel, and it's the channel I recommend people go to, if you want to go to a, a prepping channel and learn about solar generators, then go to Southern Prepper One. He's the only prepper channel I know of to send people to if they want an honest answer on that. He's not putting on anything with any of the stuff that he reviews. And I think that's important because there's going to be a whole lot of people, a whole lot of people that's going to be really disappointed and and a lot of people on top of that that's not going to make it because they had false expectations and no one's there to dispel them i mentioned about the plastic portable folding solar panels earlier how many people are going to succumb to basic medical issues that could be solved by having one of these units how many people are going to succumb to their illnesses because they misunderstood what a device was capable of? And I don't know about you, but I think about these kind of things. When I give advice, I think about these kind of things because the last thing I want to do is give advice that's going to cause somebody harm. And it seems like there's a lot of that that's just rampant because, unfortunately, Google slash YouTube has put the screws on content creators when it comes to monetary compensation. And so, naturally, individuals that were used to that monetary compensation that were no longer getting it from YouTube sought other avenues to get it. And that in and of itself is fine. That's fine. I got nothing wrong. I, I'm a big supporter of capitalism. As long as it's not corrupt capitalism. And when you misguide or misinform people or make them think that something's more than it's not and more than it really is, that's corrupt capitalism there. There used to be a, a saying, you know, well, not, no, not so much a saying, but, you know, people used to talk about the educated consumer and buyer beware. That's a thing of the past. It shouldn't be, 
but it is. I will sit there and research a $100 item for a month in many cases before I, I make the move to buy it. Because I want to be an educated consumer. I think today in a lot of, in a lot of minds, because of the way that our entertainment, in entertainment media has changed, a lot of people aren't necessarily seeking the answer. They're, they're seeking a good feeling. And so they will find somebody that's saying what they want to hear and then try to apply that to reality, and it doesn't work. This whole echo chamber thing doesn't work. That's why I try to dispel as much of that nonsense as possible. I'm not going to sit here and, and tell people what they want to hear. I am not seeking acceptance from anyone except the Father. And anyone that tries to step in between me and helping people will get pushed aside. Because I've got my priorities set. I don't want to be an ass, but I got no problem with it. I would rather get along with people, but I'm not going to sit in a circle jerk to do it. I'm not going to belittle myself to do it. I'm not going to dumb myself down to do it. And maybe if folks don't understand why I would have the attitude towards some of these people that I do, maybe they need to look at how they expect other people. If, if you haven't noticed, a lot of your popular content creators think they're better than everyone else. They think they're entitled to more than anyone else blows my mind the way that some of them act and the way that some of them talk and knowing that it's you all, the viewers, that put them in that spot. That blows my mind. And I would guarantee there's a hell of a lot more people calling them out on it than what you'll ever know. Because what do they do? They go and delete the comments. They block the people. Because they need that echo chamber. Because that's the only way they can get away with their bullshit. It's by limiting what other people can see. That's why I don't do that. You go look at my community tab, at my posts and all that. Where I've had back and forths with Pinball and others. They're there. I ain't gonna, why would I delete that? It'd be stupid to delete that. Go look. If, if, if you look at it and you do so from a neutral mindset, you'll see just how much of an ass they made themselves. The winner of the rat race is still a rat. And I'm not even going to compete. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to continue to do, is be straight, be honest and unapologetic about any of it and do what I can to help people. It absolutely blows my mind that so many individuals absolutely refuse to try to put together the best ideas. Oh, well, the it depends on... Bullshit. There are things that are universal out there. And there are things that are mostly universal out there. If, if you want the most efficient heat, heat for SHTF, 
for most of it, it's going to be a diesel here. That's a fact. The only way you're going to make something like propane cheaper than a diesel heater is if you've got a big old tank out in your yard that you can have filled. Because then you can buy enough at one time to make the cost cheap enough to be able to make it more feasible than a diesel heater. I can't change the truth. Wood gasification, boy, that's something that gets avoided like the plague. Why? I can tell you why. Because a lot of these teachers have never worked with anything like that. They don't understand it. Half of them probably doesn't think it's, it's real. I would imagine. But why would they deprive all of you from life-saving information on that level? Why would they try to push down anybody that's trying to show you and tell you about that stuff? Why? Why? Why do I treat YouTubers like a jerk? Because they're treating you like peasants. Most of you just don't realize it. Don't ever seek personality over knowledge. Because you're failing yourself. If you find yourself bouncing around the walls of echo chambers. Probably need to work on that. I don't think anybody particularly enjoys hearing people with differing opinions, but it's important to do so. Sometimes, sometimes you learn that you were wrong. Happened to me many times. A lot of times, it's a matter of us not understanding somebody else's life and what led them to where they are. What makes me so easy to go to jerk mode? My life experiences. I've been having life experiences for a lot longer than I've been on YouTube. And I've always been treated the same way. I don't know if I've got like stupid written on my forehead that I can't read, that I can't see. But I can guarantee you that I'm not. I wouldn't be able to do all the different things that I do. I wouldn't be able to repair all the different things that I can repair. I mean, I don't, I'm not somebody that likes to sit there and boast and brag. and I, I can't stand people like that. But folks, I've been working on... I started with small engines and bicycles when I was like freaking eight years old. Learned a lot from my old man. A lot. I was the guy that or the kid, I should say, that took every damn thing apart because I had to know how it worked. And most of those things I got back together. And they worked. Very, very few things that I couldn't get back together and make them work. And I've had a lifetime of that. If I've got something and it breaks... I'm looking for my tool set. Because even if I can't fix it, I want to learn as much as I can about it. I spent a lifetime doing that. So, to have somebody sit there that, that's not done those things, that's not even remotely 
gone down that path. To just brush me off as, you're stupid, you're stupid, you're stupid. Because of their own ego? I am going to treat you like a piece of shit because you are. Good people don't do that. You know, there's a saying that that dangerous people uh, how's that saying go? It's something to the effect that basically if 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 you're not dangerous and uh, ah now I can't think of the saying but it's talking about weakness it's talking about how you know somebody the difference between being harmless and and the difference between uh, somebody just ah, what's that meme? I can't think of it. You guys know it, and I'm drawing a blank on it. You guys know what I'm talking about. I have that issue when I try to recall sayings and stuff like that. I'm not somebody that can do a, a lot of verbatim kind of stuff, you know. Uh, never have been. Never have been. And I am somewhat suspicious of people that do because there's a lot of people out there that sure in the hell can memorize the words and memorize the script but completely lost on the concept behind it. I've seen it all the time. I'm one of those fortunate folks that when it comes to say for instance working on things, repairing things, I understand theory, I understand physics, on a very high level and that has probably been the biggest at, uh, you know attribute in order for me to repair things is because of understanding that theory because I know what is supposed to do what there's individuals out there they just don't have that that that's not natural to them to understand theory. And I've, I've known plenty of people out there that busted their ass trying to learn something or do something and just struggle with it. And it's because they don't understand the, the concept of it. They don't understand the theory behind it. And, you know, I've seen people get so frustrated because they run into that. And I, I wish I could... I mean, there's nothing you do. I can't draw. I can't make a beautiful painting. And I, I wish I could, but I can't. That's not how I'm wired. I can't, I can't do that kind of stuff. But I can fix a whole lot of stuff, and even stuff that I've never even worked on before. Why? Because I understand the theories and the concepts behind them. I can pull the cover off, Look, look at it. They have a basic understanding of, of what is supposed to be doing what. And then I just kind of start following the line and find out what part isn't doing what. Preventing the process to continue on. To successfully complete the task. And that's understanding the theory behind it. The concept behind how it works. Not everybody can do that. I can't paint pictures. Right? But clearly, there are a lot of people out there that can and do a damn good job at it. I can't do it. I'm not wired that way. But I damn well am going to stand behind the ways that I am wired. Why should I not? If I can help people, if I can teach people, why should I stand down because of somebody else's ego? That doesn't even make a little bit of sense. I'm not going to do it. Sometimes we have to know when to step aside and let somebody through. I guarantee you I do it all the time. Because I want people to have the best information from the best sources. And there ain't a single one of us that knows everything. 
But I, I just have a suggestion. When somebody else knows more about something than you, instead of raising your hackles and thinking you gotta protect your thunder, maybe just step to the side so that the people you claim to care about can get the best information. I do care about people immensely. That's one of my downfalls. All I want to do is help. But I've had a lifetime of doors getting shut in my face. And I'm not stupid. I know why. I'm not too good to humble myself. What say everyone else? We should be wanting the best for one another, even those that we don't agree with. This society is a screwed up mess. That learning curve's a bitch, folks. That's why anytime I see something that raises my suspicions, I try to jump out in front of it. But I don't just try to keep that a secret so that I can get ahead of everybody else. No, I typically speak loudly. But I get ignored. I was talking about pole shift well over a decade ago got laughed at I don't know how many times about it was I wrong I got called a conspiracy theorist when I was calling out real ID the real ID act and all that over a decade ago told about my tinfoil hat and blah 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 was I wrong I can't help that I was born with a brain that works the way I do. But apparently a lot of people think that I should be ashamed of it. I want to help people. Pattern recognition and comprehension are like out of this world in this brain. And while I'm really good at that, I ain't worth a damn at social interaction. Not even a little bit. I ain't worth a damn at being the cool guy. Not even a little bit. But I don't put my interests there anyway. I don't give a shit what you think of me. All I want is people to learn. All I want is people to have the tools and the knowledge that they need to make this a better world. And if I'm ex expected to kiss people's ass or ignore the way they treat me, I don't know what to tell you. I ain't wired like that. I'm wired to bust a bully in the fucking nose. That's how I'm wired. I'm also wired to stand behind what I say. I'm also wired to not be shy at putting my thoughts out there. I may not do it in a kind way. I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat stuff. I'm not going to play footsies with people. Try to dot me in the eye. I'm going to bust your nose. Don't fucking play a victim when it happens. Maybe you shouldn't have fucked with me. 
Maybe. I don't know what to tell folks. I mean, I'm 50 minutes in to explaining why I'm an asshole. It's an input-output world. You dot me in the eye, I'm going to bust your fucking nose. It's that simple. Shouldn't be that hard to understand, is it? To all these channels that I call out, that people get all butt hurt and all upset because I call them out because they want to defend their little echo chamber, each and every one of you are standing in the way of others progressing. Because survivalism don't give two shits about your opinion or your personality. What's dependent is what you know and what you can do. And in a true SHTF situation, bullshit just isn't going to cut it. Shalom.